Greetings. In today's talk, we're going to explore relationships and we're going to begin with ourselves. As always, everything emits from us. We are the epicenter of everything good, peaceful, loving, and magical, right where you're at. What's oftentimes discussed is that opposites attract. And I'm here to disappoint some who believe that because it's not opposites that attract. Our attractions are based on association and familiarity, not opposites. As a matter of fact, if you ever met someone and you just immediately did not like them, you didn't like their company, you didn't want them around you, you just reserved, stood back, and no matter what they did or what they said, you just never come around to them. That's your opposite. Opposites repel. They don't ever attract each other. Your gut instincts were off about something that they said, never said it quite right, etc., etc., etc. This is not a, an, a point of an attraction. This is a point of stay away from. This is not comfortable for you. Walk in a different direction. Those are opposites. They do not attract. What I believe people are saying is that there are some weaknesses within us and you're attracted to someone who has strength in that. Now this is strength is a different conversation in and of itself because strength can be misconstrued as bullying, as belligerence, total flagrant disregard for other people. That's the mess behind the word strength. But a strength is someone, they are just masters in a specific aspect that you feel that you may be weak in or you may be growing in and you're learning from them. They're going to teach you and inspire you. They're a master at that. And even in my own relationship, I could tell you as much as I deliver meditations, I can see areas that I need strength in, and I'm with someone who is a master in those areas. Now that we have defined opposites and put it in its proper place, let's talk about association and familiarity. In relationships, and this is very critical because this is how we relate to our own selves. It originates from you. When you are drawn and attracted to anyone, any idea, any desire, it is because it is familiar to you. You associate it with something. This is something that you are going to be passionate about or someone that you're going to be very, very passionate about. They not only have the strength that may be familiar to you, it has to be something that is familiar to you. Again, if someone is very belligerent, they're going to attract strength as belligerence. So everyone around them will be perpetrating a strength as belligerence. For you, strength may be intelligence. So people around you are going to emit strength as intelligence. That's familiarity and association because how you associate intelligence, it's going to show up around you. So let's breathe that in and out. Now, let's drill down to a desire, a want. And our relationships with those desires and wants. There's nothing lacking on this planet. Okay. 
It may seem that we're lacking certain humanity, certain sensitivities, but they are here in abundance. And right now, you may be a person that may be struggling in a certain area. And the strength and the compassion and the love is here right where you're at. And it's around you. And now we're going to uh, draw our attention to how we associate and what's familiar with us. And this has to be done on a more broader sense, but we're going to guide in. And I'm going to need you to pull this up and help this meditation out. Okay? Because this is re definitely requires participation. So as we enter this meditation, I invite you to take a slow, easy, deep breath in and slowly release the breath out. I invite you to feel in this moment that the weight of your body is completely supported, that you are cared for, that you are loved, admired, and protected. Allow these words in and any doubt out. Where you are at right now, is the fulfillment of dreams. You have made it to the oasis of inspiration and love. You can rest here and breathe that in. And out. Feel the release, the relaxation, and the tranquility of arriving at this beautiful place. And any aspect of you that has a desire that is unmet or seemingly unmet, we're going to focus our attention on what is familiar about this desire. What is it about this desire? that is real for you. It belongs with you. It belongs connected and in your space. Okay. Let's breathe that in and out. What do you associate with this desire? Is it completion? Is it safety? What is associated? Arriving to a certain status point? What is it that you associate? Success? Hard work? Whatever it is, bring our attention back to what is familiar and what we associate. This desire belongs with you. And now we're not going to drill down on specifics. It can show up however it needs to, whichever way it chooses. We're okay with the journey and the road. We got this. And in this moment, we bring our attention to ourselves. And we now find a place for the thoughts 
that bridge us to the desire. We no longer define that route. We now change the words that we say to ourselves along this path. The path to meeting the desire. It's not far from us. It's not impossible. We allow these words to go. It is not unattainable. We allow those words to go. It's not out of our reach. We allow those words to go. It's not only for a certain person or certain types of people. We allow that image to go. We reassociate it to belonging with us and being there for us. It's familiar to us. It's right where we belong. And it belongs to us. It belongs with us. It's made for us. And now we allow ourselves to appreciate the journey on this course and path. We appreciate the inspirations, the ideas, the solutions. that keeps us moving, motivated, and achieving. And we change our language by shifting our thoughts in this moment. And as we continue our work of delivering our gifts and our talents, we see that the reward is in sight. It's right where it belongs with us. It's familiar to us. It's within reach. It's yours.